Hi, this is Spitfire from Behind the Handlebars, and we are at the Mama Tried Bike Show 2016, and we're in some old warehouse uh, off of 2nd Street, I think. <laughs> but anyway, we're somewhere downtown Milwaukee, and uh, we're looking at some of the bikes here, and we tr came across one that really kind of caught my attention. Um, this is a, a Buell, and I'm going to uh, first ask the owners to introduce themselves. I'm Brian Tierney, and this is my wife. Nancy. And you are from where? Appleton, Wisconsin. And now, what did you do to this bike? you got to tell me about it. Pretty much, it was listed on eBay in about 10 years ago as a, as a complete roller minus the motor. And nobody bid on it because they were asking $9,500 for it. But I knew it was worth more than that, so I called the dealer and I bought it. And then the motor in it is from my 1984 XR1000. But it's been highly modified. Um, we're about to erase it. We erased it once at the East Coast Timing Association with the original bodywork, which this is new bodywork over here to your left or your okay. right. And the gas tank was leaking on the motor, so we only made one pass. And then I rebodied it and I redid the motor. I talked to Jerry Branch and the motor is pretty much pretty stout. The bike on a dyno runs 182 miles an hour, geared the way the way it is. And we're hoping to get some land speed records with it, uh, racing with the East Coast Home Association and some of the other mile courses, flat, you know, just endurance, straight line racing. Well, then you've been racing for a while. This is not yeah, new for you? I've raced a little bit, not, not really, nothing professionally, just amateur type of thing. And the bike itself is chassis number 002, and it is one of the five race bikes that out of the 51 bikes produced. Well, now I'm going to ask a question that I'm sure everybody else is wondering right now. What is this bike worth? Well, I had a friend that just sold number six, which was a street bike with, with about 200 miles on it. And he immediately got $48,000 for it. And there's, there's a race bike overseas that won a championship over there. And they want 142 euros, euros for it. So I'm thinking... I'd be happy with eighty to a hundred thousand for it. You know, I'm thinking you want to be really careful with a bike that's worth that much money, and uh, and I'm also thinking that like if you did decide that you were going to sell this really unique motorcycle, if you were going to sell that, that you would probably have to take your wife on a pretty fancy trip, don't you think? Well, no. I if, agree. I, if we sold it, we would buy another Buell. I would buy another RS. The 1198RS, you know, that with the carbon fiber edition is what I would like. And you would take your wife on a trip. Exactly. There we go. See? All right. Thank you for letting us see what's underneath that. I think that is so special for us to be able to get that glimpse. This is Behind the Handlebars with Hugh and Abraham.